Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and today we're going to use a file folder. And these are the ones that we have in the store. They're the craft, and they're very, very nice. They're nice and thick. We're going to use one of these to make a little folio. So, if you want these, we have them in the store. I think they're nine for I don't remember how much, but it's nine of them in a pack. Okay. So now I have pre-cut some of my pieces just because. I am trying to do my filming ahead because we're going to be gone next week and so I'm trying to get a lot of videos done and I'm doing some pre-cutting ahead of time just so that it doesn't take me forever in a day. So, alright. Now I just folded the file folder in half is all I did. Just folded it over in half. And the very first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this scrap piece of paper and I'm going to run it right up here at the top just to cover this when that is over like that just so that I don't have a lot of that brown showing I don't mind some of it showing so I may not run it all the way to the top but I don't want it all showing now all of these pieces are going to be inked and I haven't inked them ahead of time so I will just cut out the inking part just so that you can get a look at what we're doing all right and I don't know yet if I'm going to cut my tab off or leave it. So right now I'm just going to leave it on there. I can always cut it off later on. So we are going to glue this down. Now I know it's a little bit too long, but I don't care. I can trim it off after I get it laid down on here. So how are you guys? We are rushed, rushed, rushed as usual. We're just trying to get everything done and get out the door. The kids have singings in Ohio and Tennessee and North Carolina, so we're going to be going with them. We do a, we don't really do a lot, we just kind of sit and enjoy, but we do kind of help them out with their tables, you know, their CD tables and all of that, so, and we help them with their kiddos, so we kind of go and take care of that. All right, now this little piece right here, I am going to go ahead and just kind of angle cut that. If I don't, it's going to tear off anyway, so I'm just going to angle cut that. Okay, so that's what we have right there, and I like that okay because that's going to cover the top part of that. Now, for the front, I think I'm going to use this on the front. Well, if I can get it turned right. I'm going to use that on the front and I'm just trying to decide what I want to do with my tab. Okay, right now I'm just going to leave it and I've cut all of my papers about a quarter of an inch shy of the file folder because I love this color of file folder so I don't want to hide it all. So I've just cut it about a quarter of an inch shy. Now I have not made one exactly like this before. I've made quite a few folios with file folders, but nothing exactly like this. So we'll be making and thinking as we go along. I've got an idea in my head how I want it to look. Now whether it turns out like that or not, I don't know. But I love working with file folders and old hanging file folders and things like that. It's just a lot of fun to see what you can make out of them. Okay, we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch all the way around if possible. Looks, looks about right. There we go. Alright, now... Hmm... Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ink this top part of the file folder right here just because once I get some things glued down in here I may not be able to ink it good okay so that'll work all right now I'm gonna stitch down the middle of mine you don't have to do that you can just put some glue down through there now I'm not gonna put any glue here or or stitch it because we're gonna sew in a little signature so that's gonna close this up so we're just going to keep going and add more pages to this. Now I cut this one for this 
and it is short but that's okay because I'm going to be putting a pocket down here so it's not going to show and this is going to go see we've got this spot holder goes like that I'm going to take this paper all the way up leaving about an eighth of an inch at the top I don't I'm not going to trim that off like that I just don't think I want to so we're just going to take it all the way up Right, now I don't need to put glue over there on the right hand side because that piece is going to be there all by itself. So I don't need to go all the way up on that. I'm just going to run a little glue right here just in case I didn't get my glue high enough on there. I may have got it too high and if I did we'll just trim it off. Or we'll just, We'll just wipe it off if I did. Not a problem. Come on now. Don't stick down yet. I'm not ready for you to. Alright. There we go. I think that works. Yeah. Now I am going to make sure Oops, that I don't have glue right there. And I don't. So that, that'll work. And this paper, this is the paper from the Vintage diary collection we do have more of that that will be here tomorrow so it'll be in the store next week so um you can grab that we do have the vellum in right now now this is a little bit crooked and I, it's bugging me normally it wouldn't but for some reason it's bugging me so i'm gonna straighten it out just a little bit my glue had already dried some but i think if i I think I can straighten it out without any problem. Yeah, we're just going to go in here and put our glue back on. I should have left it, but you know, sometimes it bugs you and sometimes it doesn't. Normally, it wouldn't. I wouldn't even notice it. But for some reason, it was just, I was sitting here looking at it and it was bugging me. So, the best thing to do is go ahead and fix it while you can. There we go. That's much better. Alright. So, no problem there. And then, like I said, we do have that little piece that's sticking up there, but I'm, that's fine with me. Not going to worry about it. We may, i tell you what, we may round that just so that it don't have, just so that it doesn't have that point on there. So I'm just going to, let's see, maybe, maybe, maybe I will. I'm going to use my punch, and we will have some of these punches in tomorrow as well. Okay, I know you'll go in there. Nope, maybe you won't. This is a little bit thicker, so I'm just going to use this. Oh yeah, that'll work. There we go. Just rounded that off a little bit so that it doesn't have a sharp point there. Now, alright, I'm going to put a pocket down here, so I'm not going to worry about that. We need our piece for over here. And I think, let's see, was that the piece? Did I cut a piece for over there? I think so. I think I cut this one. Was it this one? Yeah, I think this is the one that I cut for over here. And before I put that down, I'm going to go ahead and round to this corner. That way it will be rounded like the other one so yeah we're gonna put that down right there all right now right before we glue this piece down what we want to do is take I've got a large envelope this is one of these and I'll tell you what size these are I think they're called a7 but let me find a ruler come on ruler where are you all right this is eight and three quarter by five and three quarters so I think it's called an a7 something like that but I have got the flap here so I'm gonna put this right under there and it's just the right size for this file folder and what I'll do is I'll link these exact little envelopes below because I got them off of Amazon all right, and we're going to put that down like that, but I want my little flap to be up under this paper, okay? 
So what we're going to do is glue the flap down first. I'm going to, well, you know what? I'm going to glue the flap to this and then we'll glue all of that down. I think that will work better. So let's do that. I told you I'm thinking this through as I'm making it. Not made it before, just dreaming it up. I just knew I wanted a lot of pockets and envelopes and things like that in there. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So there we go. We've got that down. Now we need to glue it down right here. Now I'm going to run me a little line down through here just so that I can see where my fold is. That's not going to show what's everything is done anyway but I I want to be able to see that fold so that I don't put anything over it okay so we're gonna put lots and lots of glue on here oh I think I want to envelope on the other side of this too so I need to think about that before I put all my glue on here. So I think I'll put glue like that and lay this down and then I'll put my other glue under there. Now I'm going to bring it out just a little bit away from that fold because I don't want that showing or I don't want that hindering or showing on this side the fold there. So let's see if it still folds up. Nice. Yep. It does. That should work. Yeah, that works. Okay. So let me see how we got this down now. Okay, that looks good. And now I, I want what do I what envelope do I want in here? I want this little envelope. This is an envelope that one of you guys sent me. And I am not sure where this came from, but I'll tell you what size it is. It is six and a quarter by four and a quarter. So if you want to check that out, I, I have no clue where they got them. They could have got them off of Amazon or wherever. I haven't seen them before, so I'm no help. Now, I want to tuck this under there, and I didn't think I glued that down, did I? Yep, I did. Okay, I'm going to pull that back up and I'm going to tuck that under there like that. So I'm going to turn it this way. I know I'm probably driving you people crazy that are real precise on these things because I'm just turning it every which way and doing my own thing. But, you know, when I craft on the fly, this is the way I do. Now we want... A little envelope tucked on this side and I think it's this one yes so that one's gonna tuck right there like that okay so I'm gonna pull this off and then we're gonna put some glue right here I love folios like this with all kinds of little pockets and things Now lift that up and just tuck it under. And you could have glued all of these to the um, page before you put it down. You know me, I wasn't thinking, so therefore it didn't get glued. All right, that'll work right there. Now, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take these off and I'll clip them together. They're the ones that I've cut to go on here, the mats. Okay, so there is that one. Now we can glue all of this down. I think. I don't think I have any more pockets to put in there. Now then, that should work. Okay. Got that there. That one flips open. That one flips open. And that one flips up. Yes, I like that. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and cover this and I'm going to go ahead and ink all of these pieces and then we'll come back and we'll start adding them on there. Okay, let's go ahead and put this down. 
Isn't this a gorgeous paper? I love it. I'm so glad we're getting more in. I, they had said that they weren't going to make any more of it and it was going to discontinue, but they ended up making more and I'm glad that they did. Okay, we're going to put that down like that, but I think I'm going to mark these little edges. Mm, you know what? I'm not going to mark them either. I started to say I'm going to cut these off. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and cut them off. All right, these little edges right here, I'm not going to cut off, but I am going to ink. I'm going to leave them on this one, just because it'll make it look, that pocket a little bit stronger. So I'm just going to ink them up like that. And then this piece is going to go down just like that. Oops, getting everything hung on my hand. Now, I do think I want to put something under here, a little piece of whatever. Let's see. Okay, I have gone ahead and I put the covers on these because, I mean, that was just putting the covers down on them, so you guys know how to do that. So I just put a little cover there, and then that's the pocket. And then I put a cover on this side, a cover here, right there, and then this... I covered the front of that and I think I'm going to cut a little pull in that because you can't really see that that's a pocket there. So let me grab my punch. And I should have done this before but I didn't so we're going to do it now. I'm just going to slide my punch in there and then I just kind of try to center it up as best I can. Punch it. And there we go. Now you could put this piece down on there if you wanted to. I'm just going to put a little ink on there. Like that. There we go. We've got that. Okay, so all that's covered. We can make a tag there. And then this is the pocket. We can make a tag for that. Tag for that. And then I did go ahead and just stitched around here. I didn't stitch on the back, I just stitched around here. Sorry, I've got a tickling in my throat. <clears throat> and I decided to leave that, and I think I'm just going to put this little tab up there. I don't know why. I just saw it and thought, eh, I'll just put that on there and leave that little tab up top. Whoops, so I've already inked it. There is that. Now we need to put a pocket right here. And I've got this pocket, or this envelope. And this is a regular size envelope. Let's see what size it is. This is, it is five and three quarters by four and three eighths. So it's kind of a regular, kind of, kind of sort of regular. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to utilize the tab on here or the flap. So I'm going to, first off, I'm going to cut these little pieces off right here. Just like to cut them away. And that way they don't look so odd sticking up there when I cover it with paper. I had to pause the video because I had, my son-in-law came over to install our security system and so I had to pause everything. <laughs> and oh look, that fits perfect in there. Wow. Okay. But I don't need really need the whole piece. But you know what? I'm not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna leave it. And I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna erase my little pencil mark I got there. Because cutting it, I would just have another little piece of scrap that I needed to do something with. So I'll just leave it in there. Now I'm going to ink and then I'll just make sure that this is kind of even and I'm going to put some glue right there. Really don't <clears throat> think you have to put glue all the way down in there because 
it's not going to have anything pulling on it so we're just going to put glue like that now i want to put a piece right here so what i did is i just took this piece and laid it over like that and then just drew around it so that's going to be my piece for the inside here so we're going to go ahead and cut that out oh i'm supposed to be cutting right inside the line and i didn't do that did i so let me get my big scissors a lot easier to cut it with my big scissors and i'm going to cut just inside the line that way i'll have a little bit sticking out a little bit of the brown showing on all sides hopefully if i cut it correctly Do you need to go a little straighter right here? And that should work. So we're going to put this down. Now I'm just going to pull this backing off of that. Ooh, I like to pull the whole thing out, didn't I? And I have somewhere. There they are. I have a set of magnets. These are our basic gray magnets. They're always linked below. And I'm going to put a magnet right there. And then I'm just going to take the backing off of the other side and put that down like that. And then there is our closure. And then we'll glue this down. Whoops, upside down, Edith. Glue that down like that. But before I glue it down, whoa, it's sticking. Before I glue that down, I think I can go ahead and cut a piece for the top side. So let's find a piece. This will work right there. There we go. And I probably cut that upside down. No, I didn't. I cut it right side up. That was by pure accident, I'm telling you. Okay, let's put some glue on here. Now, I know this is a lot, but if you just pause the video, do the one step, then go on, do the next step. I mean, it, step by step, you can get it. It's not that hard. It's just a few pieces. But you, anybody can do this. Anybody. Now... I cut this one before I thought, so I cut it actually to be, to go way up there, but I don't want it up there. I want it down here, so I am going to move this over and just trim this off, and I won't even need a pull on it once I trim it off, because I, I cut it prior to, before I realized what I was going to be doing. So then we can put that down just like that. Okay. All right. There we go. I like to press around that magnet real well. Get the paper pressed down. Then, there, we got that. I like that. And now I am going to ink around this envelope before. I put the other paper on just to give it a little bit of color. Okay, so we'll put that on there. And then we've got a nice little pocket right here. Now I'm going to have to move the pocket all the way out that way to keep it away from my spine there. And I'm going to only going to glue it down on three sides. That way you'll have another little tuck on the back if you want it. Okay. So I'm going to bring it all the way out to the edge and all the way down to the bottom. And that will keep it away from my spine here. Shouldn't hinder anything there, even if you stuff it full. Okay. All right. Now we've got a little tuck in there. Whoops. I need to make sure since I've got that on that. Uh, stitching. I need to make sure I glue that down well. That's the only problem with stitching 
is you have to put lots of extra glue in there because your regular art glitter glue doesn't like to stick to stitching. So I'm going to use Fabri-Tac and that should work. We might have to hold it a second, but that should work. Go ahead and put some down here. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and clip this just while everything's drying. You might not have to do it if you're, you could use some hot glue on this or I probably should have used some of my score tape. Then I wouldn't have had to worry about clipping this. But Fabri-Tac doesn't dry as fast as your regular art glitter glue does. So while it's drying, I'm just going to clip it. I won't be able to clip this side, but we're going to try to press it really hard. I'm going to hold on to that for a second. And then we'll make a card to go in the back of that later, I think. Right now what I want to do is I have two tags, and I just went ahead and made some tags because you guys know how to make tags. Now these are, this is not the thickest of papers, but it's pretty thick. But I don't want to back it with anything because I love this back on there and I'm going to put one right down in here if I can turn it see they're they're a little bit flimsy so they don't want to go down in there all right since my tag is a little bit flimsy I'm going to put this cardstock behind it to get it down in there now once it's down in there and comes out a couple of times it will be fine but you just have to get it in there the first few times See, it tucks right in there. You just put a little piece of cardstock or something behind it to give it a little bit more strength. Tucks right on down in, no problem. All right, I'm gonna leave that one sticking up like that. I don't mind that. And then this one is gonna go on this side, and this one now, we shouldn't have a problem with, but we'll see. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna round these corners because sometimes when you're putting a large tag like this down in a spot it's better if you have those corners rounded on the bottom it makes it slide a lot easier okay there we go so we have those in there okay now I did cut a couple of little tabs to put on the top of these I just cut them out of the same paper. So we're going to slide those in there. Just press that down. There we go. And then this one over here. There we go. Now then, we've got the tabs on. Straighten that one up a little. Got those covered. Got our little pocket down. I think it should be dry by now. So we'll take all of these off. Or close to dry anyway. May like a little bit. Now, okay. So we've got all of that. Now what I want to do now is I'm going to stitch my signature in. Now you can stitch your signature a couple of different places. You can stitch it here or you can stitch it here. I think I'm going to stitch it in here. And I've already made my signature. This is it. And it's going to stitch right in there. Just like that. And I just made a little narrow one. I didn't want it as wide. And then I just used some different papers. Scrap papers and envelopes. Things like that. And I don't even have this envelope clipped down, so, so we're going to clip it right there. Okay. Now, I am going to put my holes in here. And I don't think I'm even going to measure this time. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to 
poke the holes through everything at one time. I'm not gonna not gonna measure and take up extra time. Let's see. I want it I want it to sit about right there. So I'm just gonna fold this up, make sure that it's pressed down in there good. And then I'm just gonna kind of guesstimate my center and then go up about right there and then down about right there. And I just used my envelope for my guide. I just went to the edge of that. Then I've already threaded my needle because I knew I would have my hands full. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna clip this on there so it'll kind of hold it in place. All right, and then back up through here. And our hole did really well. It come right through the, the center of that score line. That's good. Okay, come back up through there. And then we're going to go all the way down to the bottom. And hopefully I haven't lost my little hole in there. Oh, there we go. With my little clip came off. Okay, and then we're going to go back up through the center part, just like that. And then I'm just going to make sure that my needle is on the opposite side of that. I'm going to pull it up. Okay, I look and make sure that that looks good back there, and it does. And then we're going to pull it tight that way that way and then we're just going to tie a double knot and I'm going to leave these until I decide what I want to do with them I don't know if I'll put a charm on there or if I'll just leave it like that we're just going to leave it for now so there is our little signature in there isn't that cute I love that love it love it now it is a little bit full but once it's opened and closed a few times it's going to be fine but I'm going to tie a some ribbon around it or um, I don't know if I have any sorry silk sorry silk or something like that around it to close it anyway so it's not going to matter but we can make a little tag for here or we could just leave it. I think I'll just make a little tag. Oh, that, that might fit perfect right there. And I'm not going to, let's see. I could make it a little bit wider. I started to say I'm not going to make it as wide, but let's see if we have another piece. I don't want to cut into another paper piece, but I don't think I have a scrap any bigger than that. So we could just put two little tags in there. Let's see. If we cut that in the middle, we could put two tags in there. Let's just do that. And I'm just going to eyeball it. You know, I'm for using up my scraps when I can, so a lot of times I don't want to cut into another piece of paper, and if I can <clears throat> excuse me, if I can help it, I won't. So I'd rather put two tags in here than to cut into another piece of paper. So we can put one there and then one over there. And just have them a little bit different angles there. So let's grab our little corner thing here. Okay, so we got that. <clears throat> I don't know how long this video is, I hope. Yeah, it's still running. Um, yesterday I was trying to film and it just kept going off and going off and I thought what in the world well I had something marked to where it was only filming like 15 minutes and then it was going off so I had to go back and reset all of that to fix it it's like man I can't can't buy a break this week all right I'm just gonna use these scraps to punch out a couple of little tabs. Okay. 
and no I don't have any of those tab punches and you can't get them anymore they're extinct <laughs> they're retired discontinued whatever you want to call it they're old stamp it up so I know I'll have questions because I used it but we cannot get those anymore nobody can You probably can go to um, Etsy, and there's some people that sell the punch outs on there. We did have them, and we were selling them, but we've just got so far behind on everything else, we had to stop that. It was just taking up more time than it was worth. So, I mean, I know it was good for you guys, but it was taking a lot of our time that we needed to be doing other things. So, okay. Because I had really rather get y'all's orders out than to do that. Alright, so there are our two tags there. And I'm just going to lay them like that. In this, you could put just all kinds of ephemera in there. And then we've got our tag up there. And then, um, don't have a pocket here. But I really don't want one because I want all of that to show. We have a big pocket here. And I don't have a big tag. I need to make a tag for that one. Um, so I'll probably end up cutting into another sheet of paper. And that's okay. But I need to make tag, tag, tag. I need to make three more tags. And I'm not going to make those on camera. Because I know you guys know how to make tags. So we're not going to waste time on doing that. I just wanted to show you how to make these. And how simple they are. And let me get a piece of ribbon and I'm going to tie around that. Let's see. I don't know which one. I'm kind of leaning toward that one. I think this one. That one's a little bit too dark. This one probably doesn't match very well. Well, we have that purple there. I think I have some purple. Hmm, let's put that purple on there. I think I actually even have some that's a little lighter. Yeah, let's do that. Now, this came from, I'll tell you the name in a minute, when I find the end to this. I think they hide the ends from me. There it is. This came from an Etsy store, My Scrap Cabin Shop. Uh, someone sent this to me. I did not purchase it from there. Uh, I got it as Happy Mail. So, you can go over there if you want some of this. Alright, let's cut it about right there, maybe. Whoops, did you see that? I just slung that towel over there, didn't I? Okay, so. Now, I'll probably put something on the back just to hold it in place. But first, I want to get it tied. It's not exactly even. Yeah, I'm glad I chose this color because it matches better with the colors that's in the cover. There we go. So, there you go. Got it all covered up. And I am going to just put some little something right there that will hold that down. Just a little circle of some kind. But isn't that cute? And that's it. And we have, in the shop... We have the file folders, and like I said, these are a lot thicker and a lot better than the regular file folders. We have these, and then I will link below the little envelope and the large envelope. So, And then, of course, we have the paper in the shop. Well, we will have tomorrow. We will have the paper in the shop tomorrow. We have the vellum right now. So everything that you need to make this is either in the shop or I'll have it linked below. And all you have to do is scroll down to where I have product list and you'll see all of the products that we used in here. All of them that I can find that is. Alright guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you'll give it a try. And if you do, make sure that you share it over on our Facebook group. We would love to see what your take on this project is. We will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.